guys and welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock. The net worth race is not looking good, Brev. Swavy is now like a fat 10 billion coins ahead of me. I believe he also managed to get his hands on a builder's clay. Somehow, I don't know which rat loaned it to him, but I am really, really not happy. He also had a super rare, fancy, nameless doctor's space helmet that he managed to sell for like 30 or 40 billion. Some crazy, obscene number. So I've fallen off el bozo i don't know how the hell i'm gonna catch up i got an offer of 20 billion coins for this which is somewhat tempting but i can't do it man i've had like almost every single rank you can actually get on the hypixel network from junior helper to helper to mod to minister to youtube rank to all of the default ranks i've had them all and this is the only little memory i have of me being a minister i can't part with it man unless the offer i just cannot refuse and 20 bill is kind of air eh. so because of that i've kind kind of turned my attention elsewhere and it's because of a little alpha update that happened recently which is levels v2 so as you may or may not know skyblock has levels now i'm level 288 and if we look in the ways to gain skyblock xp these are all of the methods to do so i've done all of the fat ways like maxing out my skills doing most of the slayers kata 50 you know all the big things i've done everything i've got left is just tiny little upgrades that will take countless hours for like plus four xp or something it is absolutely ridiculous but levels v2 is actually coming out very soon featuring all of these new ways to gain xp we've been able to guess some of them based off of the symbols for a while so this is obviously the Beastmaster crest which is going to require 10,000 kills on it from the diana event there's the reaper peppers obviously eating all five of those you should know that i have done that by now but we actually got to see it a bit more in depth and see the effects that it would actually have on your skyblock level and that's when death streaks hit me with a dm so ever since the levels update every Everybody's been stuck at this light blue prestige color because the highest level players are Deathstreaks and Eelman currently tied at level 312. But the maximum prestige color, if we go into this level tree here, unlocks at level 320, which is red, the special level prefix. I believe at level 360, there's a final prestige, which is very special. Nobody knows what that looks like, but apparently that's also red. And nobody has gotten this so far. Until now, Deathstreaks managed to get it on the alpha server and oh my god does it look hot i need this dude with the red name that looks unreal and your level actually shows next to your player tag in game now as well which is all the more reason to get it so it's actually lit a fire in me to get that red prestige i don't even care i was already pumped for level 300 now i need that red prestige man it looks so so hot, but the methods of getting there are going to be painful. Out of everything from the dojo to class average 50, I think this might be the worst thing coming with levels V2, and that is maxing out the extra farming drops in Anita. This thing is actually ridiculous. It maxes out at 30%, and if you think I need three gold medals just for the next little upgrade, right? Each contest is 20 minutes and occurs once every hour. That is one hour of farming and three three hours of waiting for events just for one little upgrade. Upgrading all of them is going to absolutely suck. I believe I can actually upgrade this once with the medals that I have right now, but I am really not looking forward to maxing this, bro. I've actually got to farm again. I cheesed my way to farming 60 using minions, and I only got my unique medals, and I thought I'd never have to farm again, but... <laughs> It's calling me back and I'm not happy about it. Use Ragnarok Axe for farming? Bro, it wouldn't surprise me if you're actually that sweaty there, Streaks, but I ain't going to that level. I'm using a strength setup with a Mushroom Cow because it gives a ton of farming fortune. And honestly, it's been working out for me. So I'm just gonna stick with what I know. I'm just not looking forward to this, man. I took pride in the fact that I am this endgame without having a super crazy playtime. 3,000 hours is actually hella long for somebody at my stage in the game. I actually think I might be the highest level to play time ratio, but everything I have left to do now is going to suck countless hours out of my free time just for minuscule amounts of XP. I've got to do powder grinding. I've got to get the diamond trophy hunter set, which to be fair, I need the accessory for, but my God, I've got to get all dungeon classes to level 50. I've got to do the Anita upgrades. I've got to max out my Beastmaster crest, which speaking 
fucking off. Last stream, it was at 4.5k. So the fact I've actually grinded it up to nearly 8k in a couple days is pretty solid, you know. You can tell I'm a fraud by the fact that I'm this maxed out and I only have a legendary wheat hoe with 290,000 on the counter. I need 10 million for it to be mythic. But at least after doing all of this farming, I should have every single hoe finally at mythic because it is actually going to be a metric crap ton of Jacob's events just to get Anita's farming bonus fully maxed. I thought I was done with this, bro. The worst part is, is the garden's delayed. It was due to be out by now, so I could have done something new, but no! That's delayed till early 2023, so I gotta sit here in the same old farms on my island. I'm so sad. What do you all think of the patch to rev trading, though? I'm kinda gonna miss it. It was a fun little gimmick whilst Derpy was mayor, but now if you're wearing full veteran gear you can actually rev trade without derpy it's kind of broken and people have been abusing it to the max bro you know 15h and yarns only just got on banned after being wiped yarns is like number six on the zombie leaderboard or something crazy man it is absurd and with the rng meter as well i think people were saying it was around 150 mil an hour profit with the amount of warden hearts dropping let alone all the combat xp you were getting and the pets you could level like it was just ridiculous i understand them stepping in and nerfing it. It's a shame. Part of me kind of wishes they nerfed Veteran instead, but Veteran has other uses, like sporting bosses when you're not trading and like leveling pets for money and stuff like that, but it is kind of a shame. The change isn't horrendous. Basically what it is now is any mob you kill while spawning your Slayer boss could only give you up to 50% of the XP required to spawn it, if that makes sense. So whereas before if you killed a Rev, it would give you enough XP to spawn another one, it will now only give you half of the xp needed to spawn another one also thank you for the 14 months treasure grabber back in my day you were the richest player hey man i'm still gonna be the highest skyblock level in the top three provided death streak stays out of the top three <laughs> i am a much higher skyblock level than swavy he hasn't even killed a t4 blaze and i'm like six levels ahead of buckles but i don't really count buckles because all of his net worth right now is essentially loaned his friends are just dumb Dumping all of their items on him. He doesn't get to keep them. Not even the builder's clay is his. So we laugh at Buckles, man. Don't even worry about that one. Swaby has actually genuinely overtaken me, though. That's why I've gone over to the, the Skyblock levels grind. This is where we'll win. Walk straight, WTF. Does this trigger you all? Should I just farm like this from now on? Easy gold medal, bro. Now we move on to another part of the game that I resent. Because I need to do my Crystal Hollows dailies for that sweet, sweet gemstone powder, bro. Oh! And I instantly joined one with double powder. Watch this, boys. We're actually going to do our commissions in the three minutes and smash it immediately. Boom! Goblin done. I got two minutes to do the rest. Honestly, lads, it'll be a breeze. I gotta do two more commissions in one minute. <laughs> oh, it's not happening. Ruby, why do I have to get Ruby, bro? I ain't gonna find any damn Ruby. I think we need a new lobby, boys. I don't know why I haven't been doing my dailies. If you're not doing your Crystal Hollows dailies and claiming them when double powder's active, you are doing it wrong, bro. I always thought it'd be way too much effort. Trust me, I'm so lazy. And before Skyblack XP, I really could not care less about any of this stuff but honestly it really is not that bad it only takes a few minutes to do and you get so much powder from it and it will save you powder grinding in the long run because apart from skyblock xp there's another reason i actually need to be powder grinding out here and it's because of this bad boy which i'm ashamed to say is still legendary and not mythic because i'm missing the solo ajorba simply because i haven't done any mob fishing we've been trophy fishing and i'm also missing the 200 pristine proc because i don't have have enough mining fortune to get a 200 pristine proc so i actually desperately need powder man i can't avoid this part of the game any longer and boom all four dailies done i will see you tomorrow crystal hollows how much powder do i have are you ready to see something embarrassing chat i am so ashamed to show you this literally all i did was get heart of the mountain seven and then i dipped there's my total powder counts <laughs> So bear in mind, I have 1.3 million mithril powder out of the 12.5 million that I need. And I have 1 million gemstone out of the 20 million that I need. Jesus Christ, that's gonna suck to max out. <laughs> I am so far behind. Selling Inferno Apex? Yo, you're actually selling an Apex? I will 100% cop that. Hello, sir. Oh, do I really want to do this? 
Do I really want to buy an Apex to craft the T11 minion? I'm doing everything else for Skyblock XP. I may as well just craft a minion as well. Why am I doing this? I'm still fueling my minions as well. Realistically, I should wait and see if they drop something, but I'm hella, hella impatient. So let's get ourselves the T11 minion, I suppose. Thank you very much, sir. Let's have a look at what this godforsaken recipe is. Holy crap, that is expensive. 48 vertexes? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I'm actually about to drop over like two and a half billion for one Skyblock XP. I feel sick. I need four stacks of this as well. Oh, oh, I hate it. And I need a T8 minion, which thankfully I already have prepared. Otherwise, that would have been so much more money that I feel ill. Where's my Apex? Where's my apex? What did I do? Oh, I put it in my ender chest. Oh my god, I saw a Steve head in my inventory. I thought it had glitched. Oh, I don't need that kind of stress ever again in my life. Dude, nah, 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 nah. I thought I'd insta sold it. I thought it'd turn into a Steve head. I don't know what it got on, but... Inferno minion tier 11. Oh, it's plus 12 Skyblock XP. Let's go, dude. <laughs> so worth it. And let's get you fueled back up, my good man. You want to hear another scam about this thing, by the way? Apparently, the Apex minion park doesn't even work. So... <laughs> That was actually so miserable. My poor pass. Wait, why is Swavy partying me? Oh, wait, the T11 minion's not even gonna show on my net worth. I'm really shooting myself in the foot here. Is there some 5D chess going on here? No, I'm just stupid. <laughs> Anyways, that's not even the worst of what I've done for Skyblock XP chat. I'm kind of glad that gave me like 12 XP because do you want to see what I did? I did this off stream. I haven't even used this for clickbait or anything, but I was just bored trophy fishing one day when I say I'm tempted to buy the Infernal Kudra Core to which Deathstreak just says do it no balls and that was enough for me to just go ahead and do it. It was on the auction house. Most expensive accessory of all time. 1.8 billion smackaroos and I bought it because I'm stupid. So yeah, I did that for a tiny little bit of magical power. That's how damn bad I am for Skyblock XP, ladies and gentlemen. It's pretty cool though. I kind of had some logic to buying it because if we look at the accessories, there's basically none. I bought it just after they patched insta-killing Kudra. So I knew that obviously people really weren't going to be running Kudra as much. They weren't going to be doing as fast runs and they weren't going to be getting as many drops. So I thought it was a good time to buy it. It turns out I was right, baby, because the auction house is dry of them. I'm pretty happy with it overall, but yeah, 1.8 billion for an accessory, man. Now I have a bit of a choice, right? I could grind Diana until the next Jacob's contest, but there is one more little thing they're doing in levels V2. They're actually altering a current way to gain Skylock XP. The last time I did this, I literally ended up taking a month-long break from the game. It destroyed me. But they're changing it. Now you don't need an S in every single task. Instead, you just need the black belt. That's all you need. And I can manage that, baby. I can get the black belt. I believe I am not that trash at the video game. I've done a few more dojo tasks since that stream. And let's see how far off a black belt. Oh, I'm literally eight score off a black belt. Cool. We can do that. That is easy. Now, now, which one can I get eight points in pretty comfortably without losing my mind? So I need you all to vote on one. Force, control, or tenacity. I guess I could do the test of mastery again and get the eight score, but that's no fun. I need content out of this, okay? 1,000 votes and 55% of them are on tenacity. You all actually suck. I think I hate this one the most. So thank you, lads. I, I appreciate it. Oh, let's do this. <gasps> I forgot that Supi V2 has features that help. Dude, We've got this easy first try. Everything is all good until the fourth gas gets involved, especially with these lines. This is actually like pretty brain AFK for the most part. I actually can't believe you all voted for this one. You are all rats. I've been very vocal about how much I hate this. Oh no. I need to stay like really close to the middle. That way I can take advantage of the little like tracer. Like I was actually nowhere near. I need 878. What? I was nearly 300 off. Oh Christ. Dude, I've got an audience. <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't even realize. Oh no, that adds pressure. And I don't even know why, because I'm literally streaming to thousands of people right now. But for some reason, these people watching me in this lobby bothers me infinitely more. That is not happening. No, I was doing so well. I had so much health. Why do you gain score so slowly on this test? I hate it. Wait, I have an idea. Since I'm a disgusting YouTube rank who can block spam without getting rubber banded, could I not just do this the whole quest? <laughs> Nah, man, I can't do that. I'm not sure the devs would be very happy with me. But it's so tempting to do right now. Oh, my God. I'm getting close. Holy crap. No, bro. You can't be serious. I didn't even beat my... Uh... This is actually the worst. I really, really hate the dojo. I am not an emotional gamer at all. I've never broken a controller, a keyboard, a mouse, a monitor, none of it. And yet for some reason, the dojo is the one thing in my 20 plus years of gaming that's actually elicit like an angry reaction from me, bro. I could quite easily punch that gas right in his stupid little face. Uh. All I need is eight points, man. Why did you all vote for this crap? Ow, ow. Ow. Nah, bro, this is... I'm getting actually meme. Contest soon. Bro, there's another Jacob's contest coming. I've been doing this for nearly 40 minutes. 40 minutes? What? Oh, oh my God. I almost went straight into the lava. Dude, we're actually doing all right. We've got a lot of health still. We're at 800. Oh, we got two minutes until the next Jacob's Farming Contest. Wow. I can't believe I still haven't gotten the eight score. Next time, I'm going to do one test of mastery. And if I get my black belt off that, I am never touching the dojo ever again, bro. Let me go get my free gold medal. It doesn't matter because all of the depression right now will be replaced by a tiny little dopamine rush when I get a little red prestige tag in front of my name in a video game. That tiny dopamine hit that will last all of about five minutes. It'll all be worth it, bro. 121? What? What's my bestiary? 62? Estrix has nearly double my beast. Jesus Christ, I have no hope of getting that red prestige. We got two minutes left of this contest. I'm 65,000 over silver. Surely I can just leave this, right? There's no way someone can get 65,000 in two minutes. They'd actually need to be cracked out of their mind. Yeah, I I'm going back to the dojo and I'm doing test of mastery and we're getting our black belt first try. 10 seconds. I don't know how much score I need. I think I'm good though. Oh my god, set me free from this prison. I beg. I beg. Please, 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 please. Yes! Oh, we're so far past. I could have saved 40 minutes of my life. Why did you all put me through that? I hate every single one of you. Also, I should be putting this on with my G-Drag that I need to level. A long last. That was the most miserable experience of my life. Thank you. Never again. Apparently in the levels V2 update as well, museum XP is uncapped. So let's claim our little bit of XP off of that. I still can't believe the Devans drill doesn't count for these. That is actually a scam. I'm so tempted to buy an X655 just so that's no longer empty, but 275 mil. Meh. You know what? I, I can't stand looking at my museum like that anymore. I, I really, really hate it. How many Chimera 5 weapons do I have right now? This is why I can't wait for the update where museum's actually going to factor in enchant costs because my museum's going to skyrocket in value. This whole section here is Chimera weapons and these two are also Chimera weapons. I think that's most of them. I know I also have two Chimera aspect of the Jerry's. That's also Chimera. That's Chimera. Do oh, What the hell? Yeah, when that gets appraised in the museum value, we are going to be gaming. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you're new around here and I'll see you all soon. Peace. Oh.